In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can upgrade the memory in our Lenovo ThinkPad E580. Let's go. Now I've had this particular ThinkPad for about a year now. It's my workhorse and it's done a great job. And if you wanna check out some videos about my experience, they'll be linked up there and down in the description. And when I first bought this, I decided to get 16 gig of RAM installed on just one chip. The reason being that I thought eventually I may wanna upgrade it to 32 gig, which is why I now have a 16 gig stick of RAM here, which I will be installing in this ThinkPad. Now, if you also have a ThinkPad E series and you're looking to upgrade the memory, there'll be links down in the description to where you can pick up the right memory for the ThinkPad E series. And also keep in mind that if you did get memory installed on two different RAM chips, there are only two sockets in the E-Series laptop. So you're not gonna be able to install an additional RAM chip if you've already got one in there. But let's now open up this ThinkPad and I'll show you what we're talking about. Oh, and before we open this up, a complete disclaimer, I am not a licensed or trained computer technician. So if you have any doubts about your ability to do this or have any apprehension, please consult a professional, get them to help you. It's not worth ruining your whole laptop for the sake of maybe $50 for someone else to do this for you. All right, we've flipped over the laptop to take a closer look. Now, back in my day, you had one little panel that you just needed to pry open, unscrew, put your new RAM chip in, close it up, and you were good to go. But unfortunately, with these new models, we've got screws. So we've got one here, here, and here, one up here, one down here, and then on the other side, we've got the same thing, here, here, and here. So what we need to do, first of all, is grab a screwdriver and unscrew all of these screws. Now these screws won't actually pop all the way out, which is very handy because we won't lose them, but we've done the one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And for this last one, I'll just show you what we need to do to actually unscrew these, because this is a little bit tricky. You just need to keep unscrewing until it sort of starts spitting around and you'll hear a bit of a clicking sound in there. It's not gonna click this time, but uh, yeah, you can see there that it's, it, the, all these are out and they can now just wiggle around. So once you get it to that point, you know that you're ready to lift off the case and get inside. Now it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, of course your laptop should be off at this stage. If your laptop is powered on, you're gonna have all sorts of trouble. And I know some people will say I should be wearing like a wrist strap and I should be grounding myself and I should be wearing gloves and all the other things. But hey, this is rock and roll, so we're gonna live on the edge. But we do have a guitar pick here because this I've found is the best thing for actually getting in and under this little ridge. Because what you'll see here is we have this little ridge that we need to actually get in under there. So you can see there, we'll get nice and close. That bit will just go through there. And if we slide this, it's actually gonna make a little bit of a pop sound and it's actually gonna pop off. I'll uh, get in a better position and show you how we can do this and how we can get this open. So you can see there we've got our corner started and if you're not doing it behind a camera, it's gonna be a lot less clunky for you. But you then just need to get the guitar pick or any sort of piece of hard plastic, pop it in there and just slide it down and it's gonna sort of start clicking off the top like that. And it will just start gently, don't force it, but it'll start gently starting to sort of lift away. There's a few little snaps there. You can hear them snapping off. And as we come down here, it's going to start snapping off. Now make sure that you've actually loosened all of these screws. I've done it before where I haven't had the screws loosened and these haven't actually snapped off. So let me just get in a better position and do the rest of these and then we'll come back. Okay, we're slid along the front there and you can see that yes, there's no more elegant way to put our laptop than this. So it's actually starting to come away there and it's just this piece of plastic that actually comes from the bottom. So what we're gonna do now is come down the sides and then come along the back and it should just pop off and lift off of our laptop. And here we are, we've got it off in most corners here and all we need to do now is just gently pop it off the back. There we go, there is our base and if we spin this around now, we will see the ThinkPad E580 in all of its glory. So here are our memory slots. There is memory chip number one. That's got 16 gig of RAM in there. We're gonna put a second 16 gig RAM chip in this second slot. All right, so let's grab our stick of RAM. This is a crucial DDR4-2400 sodium stick of RAM that we're going to be able to now install here in our ThinkPad E580. And if you're also in the market for upgrading your ThinkPad E-Series, there are links in the description to where you can pick up the right sort of RAM. Now, if you've never installed a stick of RAM before, it's actually quite simple. You just need to line up the edge here with the socket. And you can see there that it's actually the wrong way around. So we just need to flip it over 
and make sure that it's going to sit in there. There's only one way you can do it. So it slides in the bottom there, and then we literally just apply a tiny bit of force and it clicks down into place. There's these two little clips either side that are gonna clip in. If we need to remove it, all we need to do is flick those to the side, it pops up. It's a little spring-loaded mechanism. We'll click it back down in, so that's seated, and make sure the other one's seated there. That is it, that is now done. We just need to put this cover back on now, screw it back in, and press the power button and cross our fingers. So putting our case back on is an awful lot easier than taking it off, because all we need to do is place it on top and line up all these screws with their screw holes, sockets, and then just gently push down on the back to start with, along the back there, make sure that that all sits down, and then along the sides, till it clicks, the other side, and along the front. And just make sure that every place where there's a screw is actually clicked in, and it's in its little spot. So you'll know when you go around the edge and you're not getting any more clicks, that that is completely done, it's flat, it's ready to go. Let's screw these screws back down and then we'll give it a test drive. Okay, our screws are all in tight and we're good to go. So all we need to do now is open up and let's hit the power button and see what happens. It's alive! That's always the most reassuring thing you can see is when you get something that's not a blank screen. It's gonna boot up here. We're coming in here into Windows 10 and there we are, we're loaded up. So I'm just going to log in now and then we'll take a look and make sure that this RAM is installed, it's recognized and we're good to go. So to check this, we're going to go into our system information app here and scroll down here and yes, we can see here that we have 32 gig of RAM available of physical memory. So that is it, that is all there is to it, to installing RAM here. See, that wasn't so hard after all. Now, if you wanna find out how this machine goes now that it has twice the amount of memory, then make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'll have a video coming up real soon where I'll be comparing previous performance to the new performance and giving you a real person's view of how this machine now stacks up now that it has 32 gig of RAM. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you next time.